Novica 11.09 release is a quite exciting release for UI developers. So this is Novica. It's just a placeholder UI page for now. But if you right click, hopefully this looks really familiar to anyone who's done web development with WebKit. And hopefully this looks really familiar to anyone who has worked with CouchDB. But remember, this is a um, this, this isn't a browser. This is a native application with embedded WebKit talking to a locally running CouchDB. Now for UI developers, things are most interesting when you're running from the source tree. So if you look in the Novacut source tree in the UI folder, you'll see some HTML pages because that's how we like to roll. So this is the placeholder UI page. Um, it's got one little JavaScript function that makes a request to CouchDB so we know the version of CouchDB that we're talking to. Now if you run Novacut from inside the source tree, it detects this automatically and sets up a, a CouchDB handler um, for uh, slash underscore in tree that points to the UI directory in the source tree. So this should look very familiar um, to how it looked when we ran it from the installed package. But now I can edit the file, save it, hit reload. So I just made a change to the Novacut UI without even even restarting the Novica application, yet alone having to um, you know compile and build and install. So you know I, we're very excited about this because one of the, the kind of big gambles with Novacut has been putting the work in needed to make the UI development as easy as possible um, using web technologies so that uh, you know a huge pool of talented UI designers can very easily um, help build the Novacut UI and shape it into what you want. Um, and I think we've done a pretty good, pretty good job with that. So um, Desktop Couch is definitely what pioneered this. Right now we're not using Desktop Couch because we needed to move pretty fast with some experimental features to get all this working. So I have something called DC3. It's going to call it DC2, but it turns out there's already a, a DC2, which looks quite cool. Um, so for now it's called DC3. A few handy commands, DC3, DC3 kill will shut down the debug service. Um, if you just want to start it, not really do anything else, version is a handy way to do that. Um, and by the way, all of these are the same as the, the dbus methods. Um, DC3 control with no argument will list all of the commands. Um, another handy one is git env, which returns the um, environment information. Um, now this is different every time the DC3, DC3 service starts. Um, which I can emphasize by killing it and then starting it again. You can see everything changed. So this information is used by um, Microfiber, our CouchDB adapter for Python 3, and it's also used by the embedded WebKit piece. Um, so when Novacut starts, it query DC3, get the environment information, that's how it knows. Um, and lastly, not only is this useful for Novacut, but we want this kind of UI development pattern to be something reusable by any application. So this month we released um, a new standalone component, a simple Python library called User WebKit, and this is all the boilerplate it takes to build an application um, that talks to locally running CouchDB. In fact, it actually takes a little less than this, but I have this benchmarking option so I can um, measure how quickly uh, the window is shown to the user. 
so, um, yeah, that's probably about all of the important things. Um, so this is Novacut. Oh, and these packages were installed from the Novacut stable releases PPA. That's PPA colon Novacut slash stable. And um, user WebKit's the library that does all this. DC3 is the experimental desktop couch-like service. And yeah, so cool stuff. Very, you can very quickly build beautiful UIs and uh, importantly for Novacut, we can change, change them at a very high rate if needed. So, all right, let's go make some cool stuff.